Hey there. Today, I'm going to present a powerful mnemonic method of remembering the zodiac in the correct order. It's such an effective memory technique that most people will be able to recall everything that's described for the rest of their life after just hearing this method once. But that's not all. This method of memorization is also a hermetic meditation, which can allow the practitioner to tune in to the blessings that these constellations offer. To start this meditation, you may like to stand up straight. Take a deep breath and focus on your body. Because it's your body that we're going to use as a memory palace here. Indeed, we are going to immediately start to lay the different constellations upon your body as a means to recall them. But it's important that as you enter into this meditation, you view everything that you remember as a blessing and trust that your mind will use it positively and powerfully. So, start by focusing on your head. Visualize Aries, the ram, and think how the ram leads with its head. Imagine it butting and knocking against other rams with its horns. And imagine those horns upon your head. Place the sign of Aries on your head. And now move your focus to your neck. Imagine Taurus the bull with its strong neck. Place the sign of Taurus on your neck. Now imagine your arms, two twins reflecting each other. These are the twins of Gemini. Place the sign of Gemini on your arms. And now bring your focus to your chest, the whole of your chest. Imagine this like a crab's shell. Think of the protective power of this shell and think of the sign of cancer. Place uh, the sign of cancer on your chest. And now your heart. Focus on your heart. It beats. Imagine the bravery of the lion. A lion's heart. Place the sign of Leo upon your heart. And now imagine your belly button. Imagine the air of your womb. Imagine that within you there is a spark of purity. Purity beyond all of this. Place the sign of Virgo, the Virgin, within the centre of yourself. Focus on your pelvis. Imagine your hips representing the scales. The balance of Libra. Place the sign of Libra on your pelvis. And now, bring your attention to your reproductive organs. You can imagine how this could be connected with Scorpio. Think of Scorpio's pincers nipping. Imagine the stinging action of the tail. Connect this sign of Scorpio with passion to this area. 
and now move to your thighs. Don't your legs look like the bow of an archer? Place the sign of Sagittarius on your thighs. Look at each of your knees. Imagine how your kneecaps cap your knees. Imagine how this could be connected with Capricorn or imagine the knees themselves of being goats. Place Capricorn upon your knees. Now imagine how your calf muscles look like water jugs. Two water jugs like the water bearer. Aquarius is placed on your calf muscles. And finally, visualize your feet. Are they not the two fish of Pisces? Place the sign of Pisces on your feet. Now take just a few moments to repeat through the signs and their positions on your body. Many people, when they first discover this technique, are amazed by how quickly this imprint is made in the mind and how it becomes mental property. This can really open people's minds to the potential of the right way of presenting something or remembering something. Just imagine that if memory techniques for your mind can be this effective, just think how there could be methods of imprinting images on the minds of others or on the mind of all, which were this effortless and effective. So let's explore the higher potential of this exercise and how it has been used in the past. A hermetic memory practitioner would start the exercise just like we did, but then would use this as a memory meditation every day, adding more and more information. As they went through the signs, they would imagine the different blessings those signs could bring, adding in more memory, images and information, visualising the main virtue of each of the constellations and knowing that as they remembered the key virtue, that became part of their personality. They would also imagine the shortcomings that are associated with the sign of the zodiac and imagine that this was placed as a shield within that sign to protect against such failure. Likewise, they would start to add in important things like the stones or herbs that were connected. They would use creative, exciting images which were designed by themselves in order to personalise each one of these areas. So, for example, the date when each one of the signs start to have their influence in the year would be quite clearly placed so that they could be called upon at any time. And this would be done with the creation of a memory image. So, for example, Aries begins on 21st of March. The practitioner would find a 
fun, creative way to place this in the memory. Maybe they'd imagine that the, the ram starts to march, but as it does so, its legs uh, form the number 21, the first leg being the two and the second one being the one, something like that. Uh, this practice will be built up and built up and the addition of extra information would allow the practitioner to really keep the mind tuned in to that sign for longer and longer. Then, when a sense of oneness had been put firmly into each one of these signs, they would start to imagine the stars themselves within and even sit beneath the constellations, allowing the influence of those constellations to shine within connecting the higher forces of the macrocosm to those in the microcosm. This would lead to higher practices which would be normally guided by a teacher, but in talented individuals would naturally unfold through intuition. My name is Martin Folks, and I hope that this powerful hermetic memory meditation will be a great blessing and inspiration to you.